three years or so i was self-medicating i was ordering hormones from overseas um you know um spironolactone estrogen you know knocking the block off these beaches you know knocking the blocks off these beaches Hey babes, so today's video is all about my personal process in the beginning of me getting hormones to start to fully transition. Now, a majority of the girls, and not all the girls, um, don't always have supportive family members who help them out in the process. Most of us transition when we're very young, you know, we're barely legal, but we already know that we want to be one of the girls, you know, so it's, it's not always as easy, you know, you got to go through therapy and things like that. So this video is basically going to be me explaining um, the trials and tribulations I went through to become the doll that you see today. Um, it won't go into everything. This video will stay in the realm of hormones and things like that. So in the beginning, um, I'll say around late middle school, early high school, I knew I wanted to be the doll. But I really didn't know how to proceed with that so you know I was in chat rooms I was in things like that and a big thing was um, people parents sending them to therapy so that they can um, begin the process so I knew the most therapy I could get was me saying that I was depressed and things like that which I was so I told my mom um, I want to say that we got into family counseling I want to say I can't really remember but I want to say with the family counseling but it was a group thing so it wasn't really an area where I could just say I wanted the pills so I remember when I was going to my doctor at the time I was saying well how do you go about and this is still a teen how do you go about if you want to change and she, it was it a female I want to say it was a female doctor and she's like change how so I told her you know change from one gender to the next she says she doesn't treat um transgender people so she said she doesn't have anything to tell me and I don't know if she told my mom or anything like that um but from there it was like another dead end I soon realized that I would have to wait because I didn't know any of the girls I didn't know any trans women I didn't know anything so it was really hard for me and I was like I'm just gonna have to wait which is the most suffocating process but when I went off to college and I was able to get my own doctor I mentioned it again what's the process oh I don't treat it I realized that it was a lot of family doctors that I was going to that did not personally agree with me becoming the original doll so I was like okay what am I gonna do I looked online I found clinics that did specialize in transgender people but I don't think they accepted the insurance I had or they were either far away and it was a process so I mean I found a community of persons who talked about self medicating now I know some people are gonna be like oh my god and you know whoa, 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 yes whoa, 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 yes the doll self medicated for years I want to say for a good three years or so I was self-medicating I was ordering hormones from overseas um you know um spironolactone estrogen you know knocking the block off these beaches you know knocking the blocks off these beaches so I was self-medicated until I found a doctor who was able to check my levels and help me get hormones um through them you know it was definitely a process but the girl couldn't wait and most people who truly want something, whether it's a career, whether it's fame, stardom, you can't wait. You know, the higher the risk, the bigger the reward, you know. Um, I feel like if I would have waited until I finally got this doctor, I was already in my 20s. Oh, hell no, you don't. And not to say that girls who transition later in life don't look beautiful, but for me personally and from what I was told, it was better for you to start when you're younger to try to knock some of that tea out your body you know knock some of that tea out um i definitely i think it definitely smooths things out stop things from coming you know and totally <laughs> helps you become the original doll so i definitely could not wait you know i mean i know i'll hear whatever about whatever but i could not wait and it came with a lot of things you know um 
I mean, this video is specifically about hormones, so I can't go into everything. But when you're transitioning and it's something that's eating you up, I would never be the girl to say that, oh, no, you need to wait. Me telling you to wait is almost like pulling a trigger on a gun. And only some people will understand that. When people tell you, oh, wait, it's almost like I'll die if I have to wait any longer. Are you serious? I have to live in this body? It's insulting, it's humiliating, and it's degrading to tell someone to wait. I would never use the word wait. I would maybe use the word let's do research. Also, when I um, first got my hormones through the um, doctors, um, they told me how was I managing everything because I was honest. I said, girl, I've been <laughs> dibbling and dabbling in the community, okay? So she was like, well, how have you been noticing the process? And I was like, well, every day, you know, I'm looking in the mirror and, you know, this and that. And my therapist told me this as well. So it's, I would say, even though people don't want to, it's good to have a therapist. It's good to have a doctor that cares. Because what they told me was stop counting the days. Stop looking for differences. Get hobbies. Take your pills and forget about it. I listen. Luckily, I'm a hoe that listens. I took my pills and I stopped thinking about it. I stopped thinking about when was this going to happen? When were these going to happen? You know what I'm saying? And I realized that by me living my life, and it, it took someone I was seeing at the time to tell me one day, oh my God, look at you. And so many of the T-girls in the community, famous or not, will tell you that one day you'll look in the mirror and you'll realize that you're becoming the person you want to be. It is some trans women who are a lot harder on themselves. It's nothing that can be done. But you look in the mirror one day and you realize, whether it's a photo, a video, you look and you realize that you're becoming who you want to be. You know what I'm saying? Cha! I never knock how you begin. Just know that eventually you want to, if you can, <laughs> If you can, you eventually want to try to <laughs> try to go the healthy route, you know, not not healthy, but just have things monitored. Luckily, I was good. The doll was good. Yes, the doll was maintained. <laughs> but, um, you know, if you have a family that supports you, whoop you do great for you. But it's some of us in the community who families threw us away years ago and we had to go through um, other alternatives for beginning our process. I would never tell the next girl to wait. I would never tell the next girl to do things the right way. What's the right way when society, family, friends, and normals want to stop you from being you, boo? I would never say that to the doll. Why? Because all that was told to me. I would never say that to a doll. Why? Because it's, it doesn't apply. If you want this and you want it bad enough, you want to become the girl that you want to be, why wait? And that's what I would say. If you guys have any questions about this, um, leave me a comment below. If you're new to my channel, simply subscribe. I'll try to insert more videos that aren't always about dating. Um, and more about maybe my trans transgender journey, if you will. You know, um, how long did the pills that I ordered overseas take to come? I would say about, in the beginning, it was the longest. Sometimes it would take a month. But I think once the doctors overseas got comfortable with my name, the girl was ordering regularly. The doll was ordering regularly. Um, it would take about two weeks. So, you know, what combination was I taking? Um, I was taking estrogen, like prenatal pills or birth control pills. Um, you want to try to get something that has a high volume of estrogen, especially if puberty has already started. Let me say this as well. I can only really speak from the point of view of a mid to late teen. I don't know what the process is like once you actually um, are an adult. 20s 30s 40s 50s 60s 70s 80s 90s 100 you know i don't know the process of that but i know when you are the teen age um you want to try to get things higher in estrogen to help soften feminine things out soften you know soften things out a bit i mean you want to try to get spironolactone because and, and you can find out whatever um milligrams you would need to try to knock that tea about you you know um you know car shoulders and you know help with development you know things like that um t not spironolactone definitely helps softening the skin and 
if you already don't have facial growth it'll knock that up out if you already do have facial growth it'll reduce it down um you know you definitely want to get a combo i don't know if you can just do one i mean you could probably just do spyro if you're already a fish queen you could probably just do spyro and that'll fish you out even more you probably won't need the estrogen and things like that so um do you boo and you know if you want to go in the realm of starting to get in your surge i would definitely say okay when it okay this going to the left a little bit but when it comes to surge um <laughs> once again who am i you know what i'm saying once again who am i to tell somebody to wait but with all the murders and deaths because people don't care i would say if you can save a coin to get a legitimate doctor yes but if you can't who am i to tell you not to do it do you boo you know maybe you don't want a lot maybe you just want enough that'll help you look more feminine you know i don't want a lot of silk pumped into me but just enough to help me look feminine you know just enough to help the cheek fill up at the top just enough to help carve out that jar jawbone you know just enough enough hips you know i don't need to be overflowed with silk but maybe just enough but if you have the coin you have the family you have the money do you boo you know you're gonna get yours done do you boo but um yeah, this video can go on and on, but you know, a video can only be so long. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Leave me a comment. If you're new, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay. Remember, love you.